There is something noble about this home, with high ceilings, character features and open spaces, and of course a quintessential Italian feel to it since it's located in the middle of the historical center. We can't wait for you to see it. So we are in the middle of the historical center and we're going to be looking at this property here. So for what we understand is um, two dwellings and they are to be renovated. Oh wow, look at the door, look at the arches and they're in such great condition. And even the balcony. This home is located in a gorgeous town in the north of Puglia. The population is around 4,000 people and the altitude 270 meters above sea level. From here we can reach the beautiful beaches of Puglia in about 15 minutes and the beaches of Molise in about 30 minutes. As you walk around, you will notice the beautiful white streets, lined with tall trees pretty much from the entrance of the town to the historical center. It really feels like a people-friendly town. The architecture has a beautiful mix between that one of Puglia and Molise. The buildings are very well kept all around. And since the border is so close, people here have very strong ties to the neighboring region of Molise. This town is very accessible, surrounded by greenery and is part of the Parco Nazionale del Gargano. Within the town, you can find plenty of businesses such as cafes, bars, restaurants, bakeries, florists and many other services. The streets are flat, so it is quite walkable and there are a number of architectural and cultural wonders for you to discover and keep entertained. From here, you can reach Termoli in about 30 minutes, the city of Foggia in about 50 minutes, which by the way is beautiful, and Bari, the capital of Puglia, in about two hours. So as we enter, we find some stairs. Oh, the stairs are pretty comfortable and wide. Okay, so as we make it upstairs, we have one door here to one of the apartments and another one here. If we look over to the left, we're going to see another door, but this connects internally and you'll see that in a second. So as I mentioned before, this place is to be completely renovated. We have a little window here, probably at some point this would have been a um, living area or something of the sort because of the size. The height is amazing. 
and then we come through here and it does look like they had fashioned a kitchen here this is a tube for drainage somewhere there and we have a huge fireplace right here some storage and then another storage area there with their nooks and crannies there's another one over there those two are open onto let's call it the living room and then we have this other very large room with very high vaulted ceilings a window to the front and then that door that we saw from the outside before if you remember Ciao. how grand is this ah really looking forward to that ah, actually the window is not that old it's um uh, aluminium Look. and wooden shutters is there a little secret there oh wow just when you and think that the one you think that you have seen it all a little window there ah oh, look they even have somewhere to put the toilet paper <laughs> they thought of everything didn't they this used to belong to someone noble from leche a pharmacist, a pharmacist from leche those pharmacists they're onto something. What year is this? 1980. Ah, oh, cute. It's cappuccino. Okay, not much more to see in this part of the building. Let's go next door. Il grano. Per uh, per um. E loro lo prendevano da qui per cucinare? E usciva. Ah, oh, look, the grain. Quindi come un contenitore. Ah, sì. sì. Ah, like a container. So they will fill the grain over there. And then when they need it, they will come over here. Pull this and then the grain will come through here. Oh, I love to know those things. Okay, so we're back here and Leonardo was just telling us that this, this again, it's another Pozzo Luce. So pretty much an area where you have a window for light from which other areas of the house can get light from. And about the roof, it has been repaired, but because the property has been empty for so long, um, it may be a good idea to get it checked. And maybe it will need to be redone. It really, really needs to be checked, but he thinks that if it's made in wood again, it will be um, uh, cheaper. Okay, here we have the second one, very large room with vaulted ceilings and a window that faces the front of the house.
un balcone bello si sì, ho visto Giulietta ok Juliet balcony over there which we'll leave it for last and if we come over here to the left we're going to find a room it looks pretty much like you have original flooring here again vaulted ceiling you can only guess what these little nooks were from or were used for for a second i thought it could have been a fireplace but it seems to be shut on the top so who knows when i walk um into places like this reminds me why we love doing these home tours you guys it's super super special to find a property like this yes we know it will take some work but at the end of the day you'll be left with a gorgeous grand home full of history okay from here let's go to a cute area over there and you can you wonder how people lived back in the day you come into this room i don't know was it a um, kitchen And here we have a window that faces the bed, the room that we're gonna go next. And we can see the Juliet balcony here. I'm curious to know what do you guys feel and what do you think when you see rooms like this? I mean, if you put aside um, your buyer's hat and if you put aside the fact that you will think, okay, this property is going to take X amount of uh, money to be renovated, what do you feel? I feel a bit nostalgic in a, in a way when I see rooms like this. Imagining how people lived and what they used certain spaces for. Okay, let's go down here. Have we looked out of this window yet? I don't think so. Okay, by the looks of it, this was the kitchen at some point because remember kitchens in the olden days weren't that big you didn't have open plan living, they were sort of tucked away and we have a lavandino here we have our balcony and 
it's a little toy. If you enjoy our content, please consider supporting us on Patreon. From only $3.50 a month, you can help us continue to bring you the content you love. I will share the link in the description section of this video. Grazie mille! If you're still watching this video, it seems to me that you're pretty serious about purchasing a home in Italy. If you're ever in need of expert, independent legal advice and support at any stage of your property purchase process, we will be more than happy to refer you to a fantastic group of professionals we have been collaborating with. Just send us an email to rossiniandco at gmail.com. That's Rossini with two N's. Then over here, there's another room and a cantina to the bottom. There is a door there to something that's called Pozzo Luce, which will show you what's, what it means in a second. And here we have vaulted ceilings as well. So let's look a little bit more over that way. And after that, let's go to the cantina down there. Let's see. Ah, okay. Pozzo Luce. <laughs> so it's not really a window, it's not really a, like a passage or anything, but it's an area where yeah. it's closed off and yeah. you get light from. Okay, capito. Then you have the door here. So that. Press the door of the door. Si, grazie, Leonard. Look at the ceilings here. No, there's not humidity. I just. I just don't get it because there's no water. Yep, water just does. And then down there, what do we have? Just to here. Una cantina piccola. Look, ah, yeah, no, it's not that look, big. It's got some light. No, no, it's not big. But you know, if you cleaned all this out, gosh, it's amazing. Great what are you storage. Doing with all this space? <laughs> look at the end over there. It's not very deep. Maybe what? Like four meters? No, five meters. Five six, meters from six, here to six. there. And then two meters across. Yeah. Twelve meters square. Push and look at that. Look. It yeah. looks ancient. Yeah. Oh, poor Leonardo trying to close that door again. Goes with the territory. Thank you so much for watching this video we hope that you enjoyed it as always please let us know your thoughts in the comment section Thank you so much to our patrons for their generosity, your extra support is really appreciated.
Are you wanting to have a little piece of Italy with you? If so, remember to visit our merchandise store. We have lots of designs to keep you inspired and working towards your dream. We have a lot more content for you to enjoy. If you would like to continue watching other home tours, please click here. If you would like to watch the videos of our own purchase and renovation story, click here. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Ciao!